Rock and roll. I think we should sing this one. Yeah, we should. Just Why not? Start off in song. <laughs> well, first, amazing movie. I really enjoyed your, your characters and, and everything else. My, I've been you know a super fan of you since Frost Nixon, but I've you know always been a fan, and, and I, I remember you from Entourage and mm -hmm. all the great things you're doing. How great was it to be a part of this project, this this huge project that's take, taken all these years to to create? How, how, how did it feel just to, to finally see it on the screen? Well, I mean, I was incredibly excited because the, the first Tron film I watched when I was 12 when it came out, and it had a massive effect on me. It was one of those big, formative film experiences for me. You know, it made me want to be an actor, really, and made me realize how powerful cinema can be, for especially for young kids, you know. So I was super excited to be a part of this for that reason. Also because there's going to be a lot of 12-year-olds going and, and being affected by this film now, and it will yeah. be the similar thing, hopefully, for them. And then when I watch the film, it just, you know, goes beyond all expectations. Mm -hmm. It's an incredible sensory experience and a great ride to go on a great adventure and, and a beautiful, simple human story at the heart of it as well. So I was just absolutely gobsmacked. Right. Yeah, I'm, I think one of the, the excellent things about the films is you don't have to see the first one to understand no. this one. You know? I hadn't. So I was I was the virgin viewer, and I had never oh. seen uh, the first, and I uh, I didn't need to. It, right. It's its own thing, right. um, and it is it is just mind blowing. Now, now I, I don't know. If, I know the director's an architect, but I mean the 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 uh, costume design, designers deserve a hand too. Because oh yeah, oh my gosh. Amazing. I mean, y'all y'all both looked amazing. Your costumes. I mean, with you. <laughs> it's, well, I think jo Joe had a very specific vision of what this character would be, and it was very streamlined and very clean. Mm -hmm. And I think the battle they had um, was doing that with a suit that had four layers, because how do you make it streamlined, clean, and tiny right. if it's got this layer and this layer and this layer? So it was a it was a two or three months before we started shooting that we were working on this, and they worked so hard. Christine, who, who designed this, is just, she is a visionary, and she took something that was quite impossible and she made it into something that was just so perfect and the shoes originally were all attached so it was a onesie mm. and I uh, I kind of I had a meltdown and they had to saw the, <laughs> the shoes off and put this amazing <laughs> velcro on and they would just take the shoes off in between the so I actually had a release at the latter half of the shooting they oh, had okay. to do that so um, I actually had release from the suit which was great because if your feet hurt you were so miserable <laughs> You're so miserable. <laughs> so for the future, they'll know the design. Keep your feet comfortable. Yes. If you want a long life, keep your feet comfortable. And I think the movie, uh, I mean, at least it, it hints that maybe this isn't the, the end of Tron. Where do you think the story is, is going, and where do you think more or less uh, technology is going? Because the first one spoke to piracy and gaming and everything else, but this one seems to have a more information and privacy type of stance. What do you think the... the the themes of this movie is kind of speaking towards. Well, it's I, I suppose it's a way of us being able to explore our relationship with technology. Mm -hmm. You know that I think uh, one of the big questions is in the film is about whether we're going to uh, use technology and harness it, or whether it's going to use us. Mm -hmm. And and if you're not careful, you know the the search for perfection can lead to being tyrannized by technology. And, it's our human flaws, it's our human weaknesses and our human imperfections that allow us to, to kind of have humility and, and work together and collaborate and connect and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, who knows what the, what the future is going to bring, but the, the, what we always need to do and, and what we can do through films like this is, is, is make sense of our relationship to the things that frighten us at the time. Mm -hmm. and, and certainly that's what the original Tron did. Um, and the original Tron had a huge part to play in shaping this culture that we've now come to, you know, right? Yeah. And your, your character is like uh, the proprietor of this end of life club and uh, this software. Is that what happens when like the spinning wheel is having on a computer? Is my software at the end of life club partying with, with your character at the time? <laughs> <laughs> well, I sort of thought of the character as being more like a search engine. You know, mm -hmm. he sort of goes out and brings information to him and then he knows what's going on all the time and then that becomes his kind of power. He's the go-to person to find out. He's stuff. Google. Uh, well, without naming any one brand, <laughs> so, uh, like I think that. a search engine is probably the answer. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah, uh, everybody's going to enjoy the movie and keep on following you guys in your career. Oh, that's Thanks great. a lot, man. Thank you so thank you. much. Really nice to meet you.